what you're talking about. So they, they, they touched on this one, but I'm gonna let them talk about the importance of it. Uh, she said, is it important to still go on dates? Y'all touched on that, but so I'm gonna I'm switch it up for her and I'm gonna say why is it important to still go on dates? Um, I think it's important really out of sanity, you know, like. But once you have kids, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like once you have kids, um, you, you as like a couple, you just need that alone time. Whether it's an hour, whether it's a couple hours, whether it's I mean, whether it's thirty minutes, we'll you're praying, you you're praying it's a night, you know. But yeah, um, but it's it's just super crucial to me. I mean, it just it kind of uh, not saying like it almost recenters you as a couple because you can kind of I feel like you can get lost in your identity of being. Like with us being parents, you can get lost in your identity as just being a father. Because it's mother. so busy. Like your life is so busy. And even I mean, if you even, even if you don't have kids, like you, your life, you fill your life with things to keep you busy, even if you don't realize it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's important to have those days because it kind of just pulls you away from all that. It's just right. like you and that other person, you know, phones away. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that. a huge thing for us. That way, we, you know. We sit down and just talk to each other, like, you know, like, what's going on? And most of the time, like, well, before when she was teaching full time, you most of the time there'd be stories about, like, what's going on in the classroom mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, you know, we just, or just start talking about random things, you know, just anything. So, yeah. in my opinion, you know, it just keeps, it's kind of like, I'm trying to make a good analogy, but like, like when you're both first, you first get married and like, Let's say you're both like torches or whatever, and like your torch is like huge. And like as you start getting consumed by life, it just starts kind of going down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like when you go on dates, it kind of like turns up the heat. Mm -hmm. Not in the sense of like spiciness, but like it just like your energy, right. everything about the relationship, you just kind of it's gets just that flame. It just refreshes high. the relationship, I think, going on dates. You're just like, again, you're pouring into each other, and you need, you need to be able to do that. Um, you just you, you do you just need that, and the dates don't have to be out anywhere. You don't have to spend money. It could just be something you stay in. Yep. So I mean, some of our best date nights have just been like we ate a whole pack of chips and white cookies. That's right. right. I say we. I have like ten. How many do we have? Probably like twenty. Right. But it was that. I mean, we had a good time. We sat there, we just chill, eating cookies. Yeah. So I got one. So no date. It is important, but how important is it to still spend time alone? Is that a thing? Um, is it, it's like a, yeah, like you having your oh, time. it's important. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. For me, that's that's my my gym time. Like mm -hmm. that's my time to like decompress, de-stress, um, and just kind of focus on me a little bit. Like give yourself, invest in yourself a little bit. It's hard to invest in yourself when you're surrounded by by things and other people. Um, and I feel like you can't pour from an empty cup. You right. can't. So if you're not taking care of yourself or doing something for you that makes you feel good or just kind of refreshes you or renews your energy, all of those things, then how are you going to give anything to anybody else? You have nothing to give. You're spent. So we both really make sure that we've got our own time like to our, ourselves. Like our own things. Like some, most times they're not the same. Like yeah, both of our things different. Thing differ to what we, you know, what, what, what our interests are, what we like. Mm -hmm. I enjoy working out most of the gym. So, like, for me, that hour, hour and a half I'm there, it's like, man, and, like, it changes my, the whole mood of my day. Mm -hmm. Like, if I don't go, I just feel kind of off, you know. Yeah. Spe especially, like, and he is off. with he has not work at the home with the kids and everything, you know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just a lot. Um, so, like, I know he needs that, and so I try to... Um, be completely understanding and cognizant of his need for that so that his day starts the way he wants it to. Although I try not to make it like an idol right. in my life in the sense of like, right. I'm like, this is my sole purpose in life is going to the gym. Because I kind of felt like a lot of time in my younger years, it was becoming that. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of consuming and taking over my life. So now I just use it as an outlet to just de-stress, see a change, physical change. Um, I just, just feel good, like, just love it. 